Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with neural networks. And uh, in the previous videos, we discussed about the basic learning rules and about uh, the specific neural network models that are used starting from the simple ones to the intermediate and the advanced ones. So in the previous uh, video, we discussed about the McCulloch Pitts neural model, which is a very simple uh, neural network model, which was basically used for implementing logic functions, binary outputs. So in this video, we'll be discussing, actually in the next uh, series of videos, we'll be discussing about some supervised learning network models. We have already discussed about supervised learning, what supervised learning is and what unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, all that. Now we are going to discuss about neural network models based on supervised learning mechanism. Okay, so before watching this video, I want you to please go through all the basic introductory videos related to neural networks by checking the playlist. Okay, so now <clears throat> the basic objective of a neural network as we all know is the first step. The most important one is the learning or training phase where the neural network is exposed to different kinds of stimulus it is activated fired in different ways by providing new inputs and as it goes through that training or learning phase it learns to adapt itself adjust itself to the changing environment the changing situation and by making suitable adjustments to its structure or synaptic weights it tries to give an output which is desired that is the basic principle of the neural network the design okay learning generalization and application then it is, it is uh, on the basis of uh, its structure the training process it is applied for various purposes, specific uh, objectives or tasks. Now, there are two ways in which the learning can take place. By changing the overall structure of the neural network or by changing the synaptic weights. Synaptic weight change constitutes parameter learning and structural change, it constitutes structural learning. Now we have already discussed about the types of learning processes, supervised, unsupervised reinforcement. In supervised learning, which is very much similar to a learning with the help of a teacher, a guide. So it is very much similar to that where at each and every step of the learning process, we get feedback, suitable constructive feedback from the teacher or guide who points out where we are making mistakes, where we can improve, what changes we can make to our style so that we get the results, uh, the desired results. So it is very much similar to that. So in supervised learning network, neural network, the basic principle is that the input is given to the neural network. We get a particular output, which is called as the actual output. That actual output is given to a comparator or an error signal generator where it is compared with the desired output or the set point like in control systems we have process control so the error signal generator it calculates the difference between the two and on the basis of the difference suitable adjustments are made to the neural network as long as the actual output matches the desired one once the error is zero no more change takes place in the neural network. So that is the basic principle. So the perceptron network, it is based on this principle of supervised learning. So various types of perceptron networks were designed. Now we are going in general about the perceptron network. We are not discussing any specific, you know, uh, model for that. Okay, the general perceptron networks we are discussing. So the, the various models were given by Rosenblatt, Bloch, uh, Minsky, Papert. So there were various kinds of models. So in this 
a general discussion related to perceptron networks we can say that the perceptron network it consists of three main units three main units first the sensory unit the input unit we can say the associator unit which is the hidden layer of neurons the hidden unit and the output or the response unit okay so this is the overall general block diagram of a perceptron network okay sensory unit associator unit response unit now the actual neural network model it looks something like this it can be a little bit complicated okay so here the first you know grid structure you can see it is the sensory unit to which the input signals are applied and it is then given to the associator unit okay the associator unit which is the hidden unit also consists of neurons the sensory unit block it is connected to this associator the associator unit through weighted connections which have fixed values okay this x1 x2 xn they are connected through connections having weight values equal to minus 1 0 or plus 1 and they are assigned at random depending on the algorithm okay and another important characteristic is that the sensory and the associator units the neurons and these two units or blocks they have binary activation function that is so it uses binary step function and uh, then the output of the response unit which is the which is connected between the associator and the response unit by synaptic weights as this w11 w12 in between each of the n neurons in the associator unit and m neurons in the response unit the output which is again because of the binary act activation function is 0 or 1 it is given to comparators and each of these comparators they have specific target or desired output values to which they are compared now the output of the perceptron network depending on the net input or the induced local field the response unit it is given by this okay it can take three values one zero and minus one depending on these set of values the threshold values when the net input is greater than the threshold is one when it lies in between minus theta and theta it is zero and when it is lesser than minus theta the threshold value it is minus one so this is the whole operation of the perceptron network the sensory associator response you can uh, relate it with control systems okay a basic uh, measurement system or automation system or process control system where the sensory unit it consists of various types of uh, sensors which is connected for a particular purpose be it temperature control pressure control humidity control so temperature sensors humidity sensors pressure sensors they are uh, connected to that unit then depending on the output value of the sensor it is given to the uh, signal conditioning system signal processing system and then the final output is compared with the set point temperature or pressure or humidity and depending on the error signal suitable actuating mechanism is used so you can correlate it with that so now when neural network we are discussing about neural networks it is all about the learning process supervised learning process that is change in weight or structure so depending on the error signal okay computed between the output and the target or the desired output in all these layers the weight change takes place in this way okay between the associator and response unit okay these weight changes these weights which are marked by the arrowheads 
the weight changes take place in between these two units only so neural network is all about that learning change in weights okay parameter adjustments so the weight change takes place as the new weight is equal to the old weight plus alpha t x i so alpha here is the learning rate which is generally positive t is the target value or the set point or the desired value of the output which is separate for all these layers then we have is xi which is the input from the sensory unit for that particular layer okay so this is how the weight updation takes place in between the associator and response unit so this is the whole objective of neural network okay so depending on the error signal it will make suitable adjustments in the weight so that the actual output of the network matches the target of the desired output through suitable parametric adjustments and when the error becomes zero no weight updation takes place it means the objective is accomplished okay so this is the basic uh, principle of the perceptron network okay uh, this is the generalized block diagram and this is the whole neural network structure, uh, structure the sensory unit associator unit and response unit okay so this is all about the perceptron network so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much